Good day everyone. So for today's video, we're going to discuss something about the general equation of the hyperbola. So just like any other conic section, the general equation for the hyperbola is obtained by just expanding the standard form of the equation of the hyperbola. And um, as we deal with that, uh, we can we can manipulate it mathematically so that we can we can identify or determine the salient features of the hyperbola. So let us have first our example. <clears throat> By the way, the general form of the equation of the hyperbola is given ax squared minus by squared plus cx plus dy plus e equals zero. So kung mapapansin nyo dito, kailangan po is subtraction po between ax squared and dy squared. So in this case, si y squared po yung uh, ating negative. That is why this is the general form of the equation of the um, hyperbola given that it is oriented what? Since si y yung negative, it is oriented horizontally. Okay po? But then, kapag uh, si x naman, yung ating negative, then that would be <clears throat> that would be a, a hyperbola oriented vertically. Okay po? So let us have an example. Suppose we have 4y squared minus 9x squared equals 36. And for us to transform this into standard form of the equation, what we're going to do is just to make this 36 be equal to 1. Okay? At para maging 1 ito, what we're going to do is to divide all the terms by 36. Okay? Hence, our uh, it will yield to 1. So kapag simplify natin, 4 divided by 36, that is actually what? That is 1 over 9. So we would have y square over 9 minus, and then this one would be what? 9 divided by 36, that is actually 1 fourth. So we will have x squared over 4 equals 1. Hence, the standard form of the equation of the hyperbola would be this one. Given that our value of a is what? The value of a is, or our a square, sorry, ang a square natin ay 9, to which, kapag kukunin natin yung value ni a, then that would be 3. Okay? Kasi, yun yung nandun sa may positive. And then, our b would be, or sabi dito, the b, b square is equal to 4. And for us to get the value of b, then we are given, we are given the square root of 4, which is equivalent to 2. So, we have a equals to 3, and b equals to 2. And since, Yung negative po natin ay na kay x. Ibig sabihin, ang atin pong um, ang atin pong hyperbola is oriented vertically. Okay? So vertical po yung ating um, vertically oriented po yung ating hyperbola to which our transverse axis is vertical and our conjugate axis is horizontal. Okay po? So let us now determine the different features of or yes, identify the different features of our hyperbola. So our center, so given naman po this ating standard equation, that our center is automatically be at the origin or 0, 0, since wala naman pong modifications k, x, and y. And then, um, our focus, or sige, our vertices muna, our vertices is we all know that that is what? That is a units away from our center. So, for us to get the vertex, that would be, since vertically oriented po yung ating, yung ating hyperbola, ibig sabihin, sa taas at sa baba ni center yung ating, vertic uh, yung ating vertices. So, ang gagalawin po natin would be the y coordinate. So, we would have 0, 0 plus or minus a units. Then, our vertices, so v sub, uh, yes, our vertices would be at, 0, 0 plus or minus the value of a which is 3. So we have 3. And our first vertex would be at 0, 3. And our second vertex would be at 0, negative 3. So ito po yung ating vertices. Next is that we have our focus. So the focus, we all know that that is what? C units away from our center. But then, wala pa po tayong value ni C. Meron lang po tayo is value ni A and B. And for us to get the value of C, we are given the relationship. 
c square equals a square plus b square. So we would have c square equals to 3 square, uh, sorry, 3 square. That's 3 square plus 2 square. Then we have c square is equal to 9 plus 4. Then c square is equal to what? 13. And for us to get the value of c, we extract the root of both sides. Hence, the value of c would be square root of 13 or approximately equivalent to 3 point, so 3.61. Hence, our focus would be what? Our focus, since as a vertex, ang ginalaw natin ay yung y-coordinate ng ating center kasi vertically oriented. Ganun din po ang ating focus. So, ang ating focus would be at 0, 0 plus or minus c units. Then, we have 0 plus, comma, 0 plus or minus the square root of 13 or 3.61 if you, if you would prefer. Then, our vertex would be at, our vertex 1 would be at 0, comma, square root of 13. And the vertex 2, I sorry, it's not the vertex, sorry. It's the focus. It's the focus. So, the focus 1 is at 0, comma, square root of 13. And the second focus would be at 0, comma, negative square root of, sorry, negative square root of square root of 30. So, ito na po yung ating different features ng ating um, hyperbola. Okay, so let us have our next example. So, this is a bit more challenging than the previous one. Suppose that we have 25x squared minus 16y squared plus 350x uh, minus 32y plus 809 equals 0. So, first things first is for, uh, for us to rewrite that one. That is 25x squared minus 16y squared plus 350x minus 32y plus 809 equals 0. So, what we're going to do, uh, tulad ng ginagawa natin when we, trans, uh, when we transform standard equation to general equation or from general equation to standard equation ng iba pang um, conic section, ang ginagawa po natin is we transpose the constant to the other side. So that is 25x squared minus 16y squared plus 350x minus 32y equals to negative 809. And then the next step is for us to group all the x terms and the y terms. So pagsasamahin po natin lahat ng may x at pagsasamahin po natin lahat ng may y. And that would become 25x squared plus 350x minus 16y squared minus 32y equals negative 809. And what we're going to do, dahil um, igogroup na po natin siya, so first is ilalabas natin yung numerical coefficient ng x squared and y squared term, so that becomes 25 multiplied by, so kapag tinanggal natin si 25 dito, x squared na lang yung matitira. And if we divide, if we divide 350x by 25, that is actually what? That is positive, what? That is positive 14. So, that is positive 14x. Okay? Minus, so that is 16. So, minus 16, nilabas po natin. Ang matitira na lang po dito would be y square. And then, if we divide negative 32y, by negative 16, so that is, that would become positive 2y, okay? So, positive 2y equals to negative 809. And then, what we're going to do next is for us to complete the square. So, we would have 25 times x squared plus 14x plus. So, ano po yung ia-add po natin dito? So, we just divide positive 14 by 2, that is 7, and then we have to square it, so that becomes positive 49. So, we would add positive 49 here. And then, on the other side, we have minus 16 times y squared plus 2y plus so, ano po yung i-add natin sa kanya? So, that is 2y or positive 2y divided by 2. That's 1. Then, we have to square it. That is positive 1. So, 1 po yung ating i-add dito. So, equals so, that is equals negative 809 and then, what we're going to add is not is not 49 alone, okay? We still need to multiply it with 25 first. Okay? So, that would become 
So, plus, plus what? Plus 49 multiplied by, neg, uh, by 25. And then, the other one is, i-add natin yung positive 1. So, positive 1. And make sure na i-multiply mo siya kanino kay negative 16. So, that is positive 1 times negative 16. And simplifying this, we would have 25 times x squared or x. So, complete na po yung square. That is x plus 7 squared minus 16 times y, y plus 1 squared equals... So, that is negative 809 plus, so 45, 49 times 25, that is 1,225. And then, positive 1 times negative 16, that is negative 16. And, simplifying this, we have 25 times x plus 7 squared minus 16 times y plus 1 squared equals, so simplify natin to negative 809 plus 225. That is actually what? That is positive 416. And then minus 16, that would become 400. Okay? And for us to obtain the standard form of the equation, what we're going to do is to make this 1. Okay? And for us to do that, we have to divide all terms by, by 400. Okay? Hence, our standard form of the equation would be Kapag sinimplify natin si 25 divided by 400, that is, matitira na lang sa taas is x plus 7 square over what? Over, so ilang pong 25 meron kay 400, that is actually 16. Okay? And then minus. So we would have y plus 1 squared, yun na lang yung matitira dito, at ilan namang pong 16 meron kay 400, that is actually 25. So equals 1. Hence, our standard form of the equation would be this one. And other features, uh, just like the center. So, the center, kita na po sa ating standard equation. That is at what? That is at negative 7, comma, negative 1. Okay po? So, yun po yung center. And then, the vertices. The vertices and the foci will follow. Okay po? And since yung negative po natin ay nakay y, then we would have an idea that our that our hyperbola is what that our hyperbola is um, horizontally or ho yes horizontally oriented. Kung horizontally oriented siya, ang atin pong ang atin pong transverse axis ay horizontal at ang ating conjugate axis ay vertical. And that's how we and that's how we use the general equation of the hyperbola.